Lorraine is live at Happy Harbor Comics this morning. She's helping them get ready to celebrate a decade in the superhero business. Hey, Lorraine. Absolutely, Mike. Good morning to you. Do you like a little music first thing in the morning? Oh, sure. Yeah, bring it on. Eight Ball Last playing for us today. Just some nice background music. They're going to be part of your of your special comic book day, right? That's right. It's the seventh annual International Free Comic Book Day this Saturday. Okay, International Free Comic it Book is. Day. It is. It's a worldwide event. Unbelievable. Okay, so you've probably seen those slashed long tongs going down the street with kids, little plastic toys. Yeah. It's all about Wolverine. It's all about Wolverine, the most famous X-Men Marvel Comics characters getting uh, his own movie coming out this Friday. And then on Saturday, Day, you can go by your uh, local comic book store, hopefully Happy Harbor, and pick up a free Wolverine comic, and you can check it all out. Uh, and they've done tons of other stuff for Wolverine over the years, so there's lots of ways to celebrate uh, the coolest X-Men around. Okay, when we come back, International Free Comic Book Day. What's it all about? We're going to find out in just a few minutes. I can focus on is waste, and then I feel my way through the dark. Lorraine is out this morning. Happy Harbor Comics is yes. the place. She's showing us how they're going to celebrate their 10th anniversary in business. I'm in my glory right now. Betty, Veronica, what comic am I talking about? Archie. Archie. Absolutely. Look at this. What about a trip down memory lane? Oh, my gosh. You can get this free on International Free Comic Book Day. From old to something brand new, Jay. What's this one all about? Something brand new. Well, the character Green Lantern uh, is having a big, epic storyline in his comic series this summer. And it actually all starts with the brand new material published in this comic that's coming out on Saturday on Free Comic Book Day. Okay, so it's International Free Comic Book Day. What's it all about? Uh, it's a worldwide event. It was started by about uh, seven years ago by a man named Joe Field, who's a retailer out of California, and he thought we needed to celebrate the one true North American art medium uh, in a big, big way. Uh, he coordinated this event along with uh, publishers and distributors. Um, they would, and originally they would just reprint um, some of their key books right. that the retailers, guys like us, would give away to people for free. And over the years, it's just grown and grown and grown. We started out in the first year with about, I think it was about 20 titles we give away. Um, this year, I think we're about 65 different comics that'll be available for free on Free Comic Book Day. And like I said, a lot of them now have uh, new, brand new material. Um, there's some that are reprinting some classic books, like Nancy, if anyone remembers the really old school Nancy stuff. And they've done other books like that in the past too. So, um, and with that, a lot of some of these books have become collectible. No kidding. Yeah, absolutely. They've uh, they've done some stuff where uh, the material hasn't been published before. It's brand new, um, and some stuff that's just been very very hard to find. So, Unbelievable. Okay, so now you're going to have entertainment as well, and that's why we have a band. Absolutely. It's also our 10 year anniversary, which we're really really excited. So we're very privileged to have the guys from Eight Ball Last with us. Uh, we're going to have an after party on Saturday night. It's going to be a little bit exclusive. So there's a, there's a special way that you have to try to get an invite uh, to the party, oh, but it's going to those. Wow, well, we can only put so many people in the building, so we do have to... Uh, so how are they going to find out about the special way? Well, if you go to our website at happyharborcomics.com, okay. yeah, there's all the information on there, and it's a fun little kind of scavenger hunt type thing that you can oh. get in to get to uh, to get to our party. So you do hold a chance. It's not going to be one of these. No, it's no, gonna no. Be, it's gonna, there's going to be some fun attached to it. All right, well, that's good news. When we come back, there's special people who have come to town, Andrea and Shay, just for International Free Comic Book Day, including the writer for the Wonder Woman comic book. We're going to meet her in just a mm -hmm. few minutes. Cool. Yeah, very No cool. kidding. Very cool. Thanks, Lorraine. 727 Bar Magic Lariat. And board our invisible plane to head back over to Happy Harbor Comics. Yeah, don't forget your bulletproof bracelets. That's where Lorraine is this morning, learning all about Wonder Woman. And don't forget your computer, because if you have your laptop... You can write anywhere in the world, and it doesn't matter, you're still on the job working. This must be a dream job for you, Gail Simone. Yes, it is. I couldn't be happier. I used to be a hairdresser, and I was tied to that chair all the time, and now I can be pretty portable and come and be in Canada and write Wonder Woman, or I've been in Singapore and New Zealand, Australia, all over, actually. So, yes, it is amazing. I think if we take a look down, and here's your name on everything, Gail Simon, <laughs> Gail Simon, and it's all to do with Wonder Woman. And this has been the case for you for just about two years now? Yes, I've been working on the Wonder Woman book right around two years, considering the time getting prepared for it and everything, yeah. 
Okay, so Wonder Woman has been around for almost 70 years now, seven zero years. Yes, so, well, it is, but it's had very few female writers. It has. Um, uh, there's just been like less than a handful. Uh, I think I'm probably right around the third one, and I'm the only one who's been like a long-term ongoing writer. Uh, who's female for Wonder Woman and all that time. Were you a fan all along? Yes. Are you kidding me? Being a young girl <laughs> growing up and being so tired of the fairy tales where you always had to have the prince come in and rescue you or the knight in shining armor and Wonder Woman could always rescue herself and that was the kind of princess I could get behind. So do you have full autonomy? Can you make up the story and take it from, from A to Z all on your own? Well, Wonder Woman is what they call a DC iconic character and so she's a, a DC Comics property. So so I'm not the only one involved in her stories and, and of course we have artists and letters and editors and many people uh, that it takes to get out a comic book monthly but I've had quite a lot of freedom in coming up with the stories for her since I started yeah and you do this but they tell me that for a lot of writers of comic books the benefit is that there are spin-offs for you where there might be movie deals and that kind of thing uh, well I have I have worked on the Wonder Woman animated film I've done some Justice League Unlimited uh, writing for uh, the animated Animated show on television, Lara Croft video game animated things, uh, work, works in video games and just many different things, different types of projects. I did one with Avril Lavigne's company on her song Girlfriend and so yeah, a lot of interesting stuff comes up. Gail, is it getting easier for women in this industry? Um, yeah, I just think that now Nowadays, it's really progressive. There are more and more women all the time, and it's just a matter of, you know, your talent, what you have to offer. It doesn't necessarily matter what sex you are or where you're from or any of those things anymore. Well, no, not with that laptop. Have laptop will travel. And Andrea, all I have to say is, when I turn 70, I hope I hope I grow up to be just like this. <laughs> this she is has the best outfit. I <laughs> got. It's not just about the outfit, Andrea. Who's kidding who? Lorraine, you don't have that outfit. <laughs> Just looking going 70, hey, wow. <laughs> you can come down and you can meet Gail. She'll be here for free comic book day, international free comic book day. Okay. And Eight Ball Last will be playing and we'll have lots more for you as well to enjoy for that special day. So when we come back, more music and the roller derby girls are on their way. They went to the downtown Happy Harbor Comics, so we're hoping they're on their roller blades fast coming down to okay. Strathcona, which is where we are right now. We'll see you in a few minutes. All right, interesting place. Uh, they Thanks, were actually, Lorraine. They don't wear roller blades. They were no? actual roller skates. Oh, old school. The roller derby. Yeah, yeah. They're, yeah. They're, they're, gives them more With the fuzzy base. covers? Remember? They're throwing each fuzzy other around. Covers. They're crazy, them girls. All right. Happy Harbor Comics is celebrating their 10th anniversary with free comic book day from 10 till 5 Saturday at all four, four Edmonton locations. Yeah. For more information, call 452-8211 or log on to happyharborcomics.com. All right. Well, Lorraine is live at Harbor Comics this morning. She's helping them get...